bring me your finest brain meats. We're becoming increasingly annoyed with the current situation of, of the world. We occupy movements of kind of emerging from this immense amount of tension that's been building up for years and years and years. And why here and why now? We have a responsibility that you know, we've, we've talked about many times in the past, but we've never really acted upon uh, in, in recent memory to just take to the streets. The role of technology has been really fascinating in Arab Spring and in the development of the Occupy movement. The use of technology has been turning the implicit into explicit. The states are increasingly becoming very, very worried about what the internet can actually create. How are geeks specifically getting involved? In so right now I'm sitting at Jigsaw Renaissance. We have done a Occupy hack. We're working with people all over the place on a myriad of different tools that will be easy enough to use that anyone can jump on and make use of them, but also will specifically address some of the issues that are going on with Occupy. The student movements in London were having huge problems being kettled by riot police when they were having big protests. And uh, they decided that this wasn't very nice, so some folks wrote a tool called Suki. Uh, I've been trying to promote interest and in, in adoption of um, some of the Guardian Project's work. There are already actually myriad efforts to make anonymization and semi-secure communication for mobile platforms and for organizers feasible, um, but there are so many tools and they're all, or most of them, open source projects, and I think what needs to happen next is focusing on improving the quality of those tools. For security auditors, people who know what's going on, it's important to give out tools that are implicitly secure. It's a reflection of the participatory culture movement that we've been seeing, you know, in everything from Maker Fair to the hackerspace movement that many of us are part of to increasing interest in citizen journalism. What we were dismissing as blogging five or so years ago, now we're taking very seriously as a very legitimate form of reporting. Tour is a really interesting thing. It helps people bust through firewalls built by big countries like China. And I think it's really interesting idea of sort of intentional legibility, um, that there's actually a lot of value for these protests in not making demands, not just because they can then be dismissed easily, but because it makes people actually sit down and talk and have a long conversation.